Babes, today I'm going to be filming a tag video. I'm going to be doing the 90s tag. I was born in the 90s, I was born in 1995, and even though I was only alive for like five years, this kind of relates to like the early like noughties as well. Uh, if you're wondering where I am, I'm back at home um, for Christmas. Uh, if you don't watch my vlog channel, you're probably a little bit confused. Um, I came home kind of the week earlier than I was supposed to because I handed in all my assignments. So we haven't got kind of the lit up background with all my photos. We're back kind of at home um, for my videos. This is what the background's going to be like for the past next like couple of weeks um anyway i'm just gonna get on with the 90s tag the first question is favorite disney channel original movie for me i absolutely love disney channel i still love it <laughs> like i loved it when i was younger i used to watch it constantly like programs wise like hannah montana was my absolute favorite what else there? like sweet life Zack and cody all those things but they're programs not actually films my favorite like original film high school musical 100 percent. i think that counts and camp rock they were just fab high school musical 100 percent. i remember because it always used to just be on like the um channel and then i remember the last one came out like at the cinema and it was just amazing um, and I was just so sad when it ended so High School Musical 100% I still listen to High School Musical now it's just absolutely fab so High School Musical. My favourite music artist back in the day um I used to love Girls Aloud like absolutely love Girls Aloud I used to love Hannah Montana I used to love the Jonas Brothers they were just fab this is all related to Disney Channel I used to love the Jonas Brothers what else did I like um yeah Girls Aloud Spice Girls, but not like full on, like they were just kind of in the back a little bit, they weren't like full on. And then all oh, Busted, I love Busted. I wasn't that big of a, on, uh, on McFly, I'd kind of kind of like grown up a little bit by them. And I was kind of moving on to better music, but Busted, I used to absolutely love Busted. I can't remember anybody else, I don't really know. Oh, S Club! S Club, S Club Juniors were my absolute favourites. I used to think they were the best thing ever. I used to want to be in their like little band. It was they were just great. And Automatic High, if you don't know that song, go and listen to it. It's absolutely fab. I still listen to it now. <laughs> if it comes on shuffle, I won't like skip it. But Automatic High and One Step One Step Closer by S Club Juniors were just fab. And also they were just better than S Club. Like I just preferred S Club Juniors. The next thing is favourite Nickelodeon Junior show. Well, Nickelodeon Junior was like the younger version of Nickelodeon. It's still out now. Um, but I used to love Blue's Clues. This is when I was quite little, little. Uh, but I used to absolutely love Blue's Clues. And also Mr. Ben. I'm pretty sure that used to be on there. But like that was like an old programme. Like my parents used to watch it when they were younger. Then it came back and it came on um, one of the channels. I think it was on Nickelodeon Junior, I think. But I used to love that. But Blue's Clues, I loved Blue's Clues. My normal Nickelodeon, because he's not actually asking me what my normal Nickelodeon like show was um i used to absolutely love h2o just add water that was great and fabulous that was just amazing like the little tune at the start the sleepover clubs anybody remember the sleepover club and it was like five of them and that was great that sleepover club what else on there i carly had kind of grown out of it wasn't my favorite but even if it comes on now i still watch it drake and josh drake and josh was amazing um i just love all of these programs i just they're just my favourites. Number four, favourite candy. Like, I don't really think that changed necessarily. Like, to now, if you get what I mean. I can't really remember, like, what I used to love back then. I remember being really obsessed with sour Skittles when I was around, like, 10-ish. I still like them now, but I can't eat too many of them. It makes me go a bit crazy. And sour Starburst as well. Like, not the normal Starburst, but sour Starburst. I don't like normal Skittles either. Um, what else was there? I don't think I was any, like, obsessed with anything. Or oh, jelly tots, I like jelly tots. I still like all of these now. Um, yeah, I don't really know. It hasn't really changed. Number five, favourite game. It either says board game or school game. I really liked playing Rayman on my Game Boy. That was great, that was. I had, like, not the really old Game Boy. The game was, it used to, like, flip up. Um, I don't know if you remember those. But um, for some of you who are watching this thinking, I don't have a clue what you're talking about because you're really young and you've just got a fresh mind. Whereas us that are all old and 20 years old um, will remember Game Boys. I used to love playing Rayman on there. We used to, I really liked this, this game. I don't know if any of you will remember it. It was like, this is when I was quite a bit younger, but it was like the elephant game where it used to blow out the butterflies and you used to have to catch it in your net. Does anybody remember that? We used to play it outside and it would like blow out all of these like paper butterflies and you had to catch them in your net. That was great, that was that game. That was fantastic. We used to love the tooth fairy game. That was great. We used to do that every Christmas. It would break every single Christmas, every single year, and I'd get it again every Christmas. So I always used to ask for it. And also, like, because Everyone used to enjoy playing it, like all my parents and everything used to enjoy playing it, so we just used to get it every single year. So that was great, I used to love that game. 
Um, Kaplunk, I loved Kaplunk. I don't think you can get that anymore. Or if you can, it's just like an advanced version. I used to love it when you used to put all your like little things in there, what you call the little sticks. Oh, it was great that was. I loved loads of board games. I used to play a lot of board games. Oh my gosh, I never remember Connects. Like the things that you used to like stick together, the little like, what you call, they're like thin plastic things. That was really cool. I made a Ferris wheel one time and it was like an absolutely huge Ferris wheel out of Connects. That was really cool. Also, does anybody remember those magnet things? I don't know what they were called and I hope someone will know. But they were like magnets and then you had another like magnet, like a, so you had a normal circle magnet and then you'd have longer magnets that you'd like join together and they'd all like fit together and you can make shapes and stuff. Might sound a bit weird if you don't have a clue what I'm talking about but I used to love that. This is going off from the games and we're onto toys. But one more, the stuff that you used to get and it was like, I don't know what it was, it was like polystyrene almost and you wet it and you could stick it to like the next bit of polystyrene and you used to like make like little decoration, like toys out of it, like statues and stuff, it was absolutely fab. The next one is favourite McDonald's toy. I can't really remember the McDonald's toys that I used to get, like I can't remember them but and I didn't really have McDonald's that much as I was younger, it was more of like a treat. But one thing I do remember is getting this little like beatbox thing. And it was a little like plastic like radio, but all it did was play one song and it was just plastic. It had like a little like toggle on the end, it had a pitch on the front, it was a McFly. And I think it played five colours in her hair and it literally just like played one song, you just press it and it played that song. And I always remember having that McDonald's toy, whereas I don't remember any others. The next one is favourite book. We as children, me and my brother used to love Shirley Hughes. Um, and if anybody else used to read Shirley Hughes, it was just amazing. My mum used to like put, like took us up in bed and read us Shirley Hughes story every night. Um, and we've got like the big book of all of the stories in it. And there's so many in there that we used to read, like Dogger and uh, what was it like? So I can't remember the names of others, but like, oh, what was her name? Like Annie... Annie something comes for tea, like whatever. Then Tiger that comes to tea, that was one of my favourite um, books when I was younger. We used to read a lot to be fair when I was younger. You know the book with like the elephant that's got all like the different colours on it, like a collage? I don't know what it's called but we used to like that and also the Hungry Caterpillar, that was one of my favourite books. Next one is favourite clothing store. Tammy at BHS by a mile. Used to love that place. Like it was just great. You used to get so many cool things in there, um, and everything was on trend for like ten year olds. Used to be in there. Used to be absolutely fab. Um, and also, does anybody ever remember Girls Heaven? Whoever I say this to, no one knows what I'm talking about. It was like the sister of Claire's, and basically it was like for younger girls, and it was all pink inside. There's like princess costumes, and they did like your makeup and stuff like for a party. And I had like I think it was my tenth birthday. It was like my nine or something like that, my I think it was my 10th birthday, I had in Girl Heaven with two of my best friends at the time and we like dressed, we had all these outfits, one of us was a cheerleader and the other two were like in like dress, like princess like dresses. We got like makeup done and it was just, it was just great, it was like the best birthday party ever. Does anybody remember that? Please let me know if you do because everybody in my like normal life, when I went to uni, they've all gone, what's Girl Heaven? I think you're making that up. No, I'm not. It was great. <laughs> The next one is what would you watch when you got home from school? Tracy Beaker by an absolute marvel. The story of Tracy Beaker was my favourite programme ever. My grandma like discovered it on like the first season or second season and like told me my brother about it and it was just life changing. It was my favourite programme ever. I've got every single DVD. I don't know where they are. I think they're like down in my wardrobe. I've got every single DVD from every single episode. Um, and I had the magazines, everything. It was just my favourite. I still got a plate downstairs and like cutlery set that I still use. <laughs> um, and that was just great. And then I used to watch Horrid Henry as well. Horrid Henry used to watch when he got home from school. I think that was mainly it when we got home from school. It depends like what time we got home. Normally it was Tracy Beaker. And as I got a bit older, it was like Sweet Life of Zach and Cody, Sweet Life on Deck, Hannah Montana. What else was there? Like Corey in the House, That's So Raven. I can't remember any of the Disney Channel programmes. I am missing a vital one out. I probably am. Favourite TV show? Well, I've just basically named them all. But Hannah Montana was my absolute favourite. I loved Hannah Montana. Like, I just thought it was great. And then when she became, like, when Miley Cyrus became, like, this whatever she is now, I was just a bit, I was really upset because, well, she's Hannah Montana in my eyes. I watched the Hannah Montana movie a couple of months ago. Um, and that was just my favourite series. Uh. That was just my favourite TV show. And then, as I said, That's So Raven was great and Fabulous, H2R, I Just Have Water. Did anyone watch Jungle Run? Was it Jung... Is it Jungle Run? The programme that was on, like, CITV. Or it was on CBBC. I think it was on CITV. And they had to, like, run through, like, all of... They had to, like, run through this thing and, like, collect 
different like gold statues to like win. Everyone remember that? That was great. I used to like that. I used to like quite a lot of TV programs to be honest. I didn't like Spongebob or anything like that. Like Cartoon Network was my complete like enemy. I hated that like TV like channel. Um, I can't remember what else I didn't like. Just like cartoons. I wasn't into cartoons. Oh Phineas and Ferb though. Phineas and Ferb was great. I used to like that. Favourite toys. I named a couple earlier but Baby Born. I'm going like through quite a lot of age range here. Like I didn't watch Hannah Montana and Baby and play with board at the same time. It was very different age like ranges. But Baby Ball was one of my favourite toys. I loved her so much. I had a lot of like babies. I used to, like and then I had like the doll like the, you'd have obviously the dolls and you'd have like the pram, you'd have the clothes, everything. I absolutely loved like playing with like babies, which sounds a little bit strange to be honest, but <laughs> I used to love it. Um and Baby Ball was my absolute favourite. Um so I loved her don't really know I used I did have a lot of toys I remember having a lot of stuff um and kind of I used to I really enjoyed like doing creative stuff so for Christmas you used to get a lot of like soap kits like what other kits do you get? like soap kits what should like making stuff like jewelry kits friendship bracelets design your own poster I don't think that was an actual thing like I don't know or like those sand things where you do like the layers of sand I used to get a lot of presents like that and they were almost always like my favourite toys I used to love that and the question's coming up about it in a second but Tamagotchis I loved them I went through so many and I just they were my favourite things ever so they were great and I did have a Nintendo DS as I got a bit older as well um, and I really liked that I had a really big one and I found it not so long ago and it was huge huge it was like this big it was massive um and it was just ridiculous and then I did get like a smaller one I don't remember what it was called. I think it was just the Nintendo DS and all one it was like green like lime green um and even that like now is like quite old but I got that probably like six years ago um because we like play like playing like Mario Kart and Super Mario and stuff but actual like proper Nintendo DS the first one I had Nintendo was just fab I used to love playing with that the next one is favourite commercials and I don't really understand the question so I'm going to skip it. And the next one after this is another one that really doesn't apply to me, NSYNC or Backstreet Boys. I didn't really like either, I'd kind of, I wasn't quite into like music at that point when they were out so neither really. Oh I've just remembered a music person I liked, I really liked Hearsay. 14 is weirdest fashion trend, um, there was many weird fashion trends when I was like younger they were very very strange there was like hair mascara that was rather strange my makeup was horrendous like I used to have like um bright glitter eyeliner bright blusher like my eyebrows were just really bad like I wasn't like my mum didn't allow me to have them like waxed um, until I was quite probably like 13 so they were really bushy and I had so many hairs I was awful um, I hated them, I absolutely hated them. Um, so my makeup just looked horrible. I had this hair mascara. Um, and then what else? Oh, one thing I found really weird is those t-shirts you used to have with that say like 82 in like glitter. Why did it say 82? That 82 had no resemblance to me in my life, um, like in my life at all. Um, they were a bit strange. Glittered jeans, like glee jeans that have like got glitter all the way down them that have been smudged in there. They were rather strange. What else was there? I don't think leggings were really around. Leggings are quite a new thing, I think. Like, they weren't really around when I was younger. Um, a lot of frills, like a lot of frilly tops with all of these frills. One thing I used to wear when I got to probably like 10-ish, when I started shopping like new look, um, I kind of like had this, I had like these like dresses that looked like they were from the 70s. Really bright colours. And then underneath I'd wear like a brown polo neck. Well, it was rather strange. All of that was a bit weird. I just had a bit of a, I did like, I liked fashion and I tried to dress fashionably but I think I almost tried too hard and um, yeah it was just a bit of a mistake to be honest, there was very many weird fashion trends to be honest much more than there is now. To be honest though, in 10 years you probably look back and think this is weird. The next question is favourite collectible and I can't really remember ever collecting things. I always wanted to. Firstly, I always wanted to Bailey and Families and that is the one present that I never got when I was younger and I'm making out I was really hard done by. I really wasn't. I had everything I wanted apart from, apart from Bailey and Families. And I think it's because once you have one then you want all of it and I think like my parents didn't want me to get obsessed with Bailey and Families but I didn't ever get, I didn't ever have those but I wanted to collect those. I also wanted to collect be like Beanie Babies, is that what they're called? I never did, I probably had about two and then decided that that was a stupid idea and never collected them. Um, I can't remember what else I used to, I don't think I used to collect anything, I just used to have a lot of things, like, but not necessarily of one thing. Ha, the next question is favourite Beanie Baby. <laughs> As I say, like I didn't really collect them, like, 
I just had like a couple and I can't really remember really what they looked like to be honest but I always used to think they were really cool and I was really jealous of those kids that had like shelves and shelves of them in their rooms. The next question is um, how many Tamagotchis did you go through and as I mentioned earlier I loved Tamagotchis, they were like my favourite, I remember specifically having a bright orange one and they were just great, they were literally my favourite things ever, um, I just I just can't tell you how much I like them and there is now a Tamagotchi app if you didn't know that already, it's a bit rubbish and it dies all the time. Um, uh, but that's basically like what the Tamagotchi, like normal Tamagotchi used to do. And um, I also had Tamagotchi on my Nintendo DS and that was good too. Um, but yeah, Tamagotchis were just great and I mean you could like get one to walk to the other one. Like this is a bit more advanced but you'd have like two Tamagotchis and you'd get like one could walk to the other Tamagotchi and they'd both be on one Tamagotchi. That was just fab, that was just blew my mind and um, the only thing is I don't know how many I went through, it went through it quite a lot I have to say. It was a trip to Argos quite a lot uh, but it's just the weirdest thing because they, they just used to die all the time, didn't they? And then you'd have to go buy another one. So it's just, it was just stupid to be honest when you think about it. But they were, they were just fab. And the last question of this pretty long video is a favourite game system and game. As I said, I had a Game Boy. And I can't remember what it was called. It was just a flip up one. But I can't remember exactly what name it was. And then I had a Nintendo DS. Um, I then had like a Wii later on. And I did have a PS2. PS2 didn't really appeal to me that much. I've had me to play Bratz on it. That was kind of my only thing. Oh my god. I've just remembered. I feel like I'm getting really excited in this video, but I've just remembered. I used to play Roller Coaster Tycoon all the time on my computer. And, and like me and my mum used to have like a competition against my brother, like and my stepdad. And like they'd be having one, like they'd have one pack and they'd try and do stuff, we'd have another one and we'd like be competing and then like in the evenings and so it was really fun. And then we had Zoo Tycoon. My favourite roller coaster tycoon though it was the first one. The third one was a little bit like too advanced. And the second one never used to work for me. I think it just had a dot dotty disc, but it never used to work. And Zoo Tycoon was pretty good too, where you used to like let the lions out and you used to go to eat all the people. That used to be quite fun. <laughs> um so yeah, I used to love that. As I said before, Rayman and Nintendogs. What else did I like? Yeah, Tamagotchi. I, had a, I remember having a, a Hannah Montana game and me and my stepmom had like gone on eBay to try and find this Tamago this Hannah Montana game um, and we had like, for the DS and we like had to go on there. I've never been on eBay before ever. It was quite new. Uh, I remember going on and her ordering me this Hannah Montana game for me. It was just the best thing ever. I loved it so much. Um, and it's in like a different case because it came from America and it, it was just great. <laughs> Um, so I remember having that, I remember getting it and actually it wasn't that great of a game but I just really wanted the game. I have really enjoyed filming this video for you guys, I'd like to do some more tags because it's nice like, I don't know, reminiscing on things. I'd also like to do one of these videos with somebody else because it's nice to kind of bounce off someone isn't it like that. Um, so I think I might do, I might rope Liv and Hannah, hi Liv and Hannah if you're watching, uh, I might rope them into doing a video with me over Christmas. Um, so if you want to suggest any ideas for us to do a video together or a couple of different videos then let me know down below any tags together or any kind challenge videos or anything like that then let me know and um, otherwise I will speak to you next time bye guys